of this day for this Tuesday, July 12th. I'm Paul Ortiz filling in for Lisa Hart today. We have a great show for you today. Our CEO, Siobhan Foster, will be joining us. And we're going to be talking about the very important time this time of year, and that's our budget season. And we'll be talking about the 2023 budget. We have some dates, too, we want to share with you. So be sure and have some pencil and paper ready. And we'll be telling you about some of the upcoming meetings that will be happening, whether you live in Third Mutual or United or even the GRF budget as well. So be sure and stay tuned for that. And we'll have Your Home Care with Sagal Ronan and Kyle Warner. And speaking of meetings, we do have one meeting this morning that's going to be at 9.30 this morning. That's in the boardroom. You can also attend virtually, and you can do that at LagunaWoodsVillage.com. That's going to start live here at 9.30 a.m. right here on Village Television. Let's get outside real quick. It's going to be another one of those hazy uh, days. It's going to burn off probably around lunchtime, but right now that haze is pretty, uh, pretty dense out there. But usually it's cool in the morning, and then uh, you're wearing a, a, probably a windbreaker, a nice jacket. And then by lunchtime, you're going to want to be in shorts and a t-shirt because it's going to get warm today. Uh, we have that AM fog. Uh, temperature is going to be well into the 70s the next couple of days. And then as you can see on Thursday, those temperatures will warm up. And they're expecting a very warm weekend. So Friday is going to be about 84, and then very hot on Saturday, 87 degrees. And when those overnight temperatures get to be in that 70 degree range, you know it's pretty warm outside. And of course, our deserts are going to be extremely warm. Our good friends in Phoenix are going to hit 113 today, so uh, I'll take 77 anytime. Let's take a look at that sunrise and sunset. Our sunrise this morning was 5.50 a.m., and then the sunset this evening is 8.03 p.m. And that's one of my pictures I took over the weekend. I was proud to be at the American Legion Post 291 on Saturday. And that is the view from the American Legion Post back patio there in Newport Beach. So uh, a wonderful place. If you belong to the American Legion Post here, American Legion Post 257, actually, I'm sure you know some of the people over there at 291. So a uh, beautiful day out there. It's going to be a nice, uh, beautiful day today to go out and have a walk and, and uh, play some pickleball out there as well. So uh, be sure and enjoy that this afternoon. But for those of you, please stay tuned. We're going to be back with Siobhan Foster, our CEO, right after this. Diane's Hallmark in Laguna Niguel is now an Elam's Hallmark, and we are excited to be part of your community. We have just remodeled, and you will be surprised by the wide variety of fashion and accessories, home decor, collectibles, Disney, Peanuts, Harry Potter, and Star Wars, along with the largest Hallmark card selection in town. Stop in today and sign up for our Crown Rewards program and get a free Just Because card. Once a member, you can get a free card once a month. Elam's Hallmark, your neighborhood gift store. I'm Dr. Bobby Awadala, double board certified dermatologist and Mohs surgeon, and I'd like to introduce you to Skin Credible Dermatology and Surgery. We perform general dermatology, including skin checks, suspicious spots or moles, and other skin problems. Plus, we have the highest cure rate for skin cancer removal. Our state-of-the-art facility is top of the line with industry-leading lasers and cutting-edge cosmetic products. Our goal is to turn back the years with a natural, beautiful look. Visit our website or give us a call to book your appointment today. I'm a physician and a chief medical officer for the country, so I travel a lot and I'm often in group and individual settings where hearing is really critical. Um, the only person that I trust is Anne. She has made my life immeasurably better. Let audiologist Ann Mundell Noel and Laura Alleman Hunt of Amazing Hearing make your life immeasurably better. Call Amazing Hearing right now to set up your appointment. Amazing Hearing and the Trader Joe's Marshall Shopping Center. Parkinson's disease is a neurological movement disorder affecting an estimated 1 million Americans, including many under age 40. The American Parkinson Disease Association is the largest grassroots network in the United States, working to help ease the burden and find the cure for those coping with Parkinson's. Visit APDAoptimism.org today to find out how you can help millions live with dignity and optimism. Your action today will help APDA put an end to Parkinson's disease. Join us now is our CEO, Siobhan Foster, and she's with Village Management Services. Good morning. Thanks to see you. Good morning, Good Paul. to see you, actually, right? <laughs> 
It's also thankful, thankful for you to be here because you have the United meeting today, so you have a, a full plate today. That's true. Yeah, yes. so let's talk about the business plan that's happening now. We're having budget meetings throughout uh, not only GRF, United, and Third, but you wanted to speak about some of those uh, meetings and some of the effects of how it affects the residents and their assessment. Yes, I do. Thank you, Paul. I just wanted to go over the 2023 business plan, mm -hmm. kind of how we got to where we are today and where we're headed. Um, the business plan started in March with departments presenting the current year service levels mm -hmm. and the boards asking questions about those service levels. That kind of set the stage for developing the 2023 budget. Mm -hmm. Staff determine capital requirements and develop preliminary operating budgets in April. And those went through extensive review by me and uh, the financial services team here. And then in May and June, after all that internal review and revision, staff presented the first version of the plan to the boards. All three corporations held meetings and ask questions and yeah. uh, gave us some direction. Right, and what was interesting about that process, I've been through that process a few times, yes. but this time I, I really felt that, you know, we, we worked on our budgets with amongst our staff and department heads, but then it went to you and like you said, to uh, the C CFO and to Jose Campos, and you guys kind of fine tuned it even more so before we even presented it. So then it gets drilled down even more as we get into the mutuals and the GRF. So that was a great process, I believe. Thank you. Yeah. And so that brings us to July. Mm -hmm. uh, this week we're presenting version two of the budget to the corporations. Each corporation will have a special board meeting this week. And then moving forward after they review this version of the budget, they will give us any changes that they'd like to make for version three. Mm -hmm. And version three is presented in August. As you know, they're televised budget meetings so that all of our residents can view. Right. And then hopefully we take any changes from that point incorporate them into a final version that will be considered and hopefully adopted by the boards in September at their regular board meetings. Right, and those will be televised right here on Village Television, so be sure and uh, tune in when we announce those dates for you. Thank you. So everyone wants to know where things stand right now. So as of today, version two, which is being presented again this week to the boards, the proposed budget contains the following basic assessments. For GRF, a three dollar well, and eighty one cent increase. Mm -hmm. For third, no increase. And for United, a twenty nine point seventeen yeah. cent increase. Right. And those are uh, even though obviously it's an increase, but when I don't know the math on that, but I imagine the ratio as far as percentage is pretty low. It's probably lower than you know the cost of living. It well, cost of living is pretty high right now. But it, yes. you know to have a three dollar and eighty one cent increase is probably a pretty good. Uh, percentage-wise, you know, as far as maintaining that budget process. Yes, and yeah. I'll actually take you through the, oh, quick, the quick math here. Okay, good. Um, the GRF basic assessment, again, will go up $3.81. It's increasing from $217.50 to $221.31. Mm -hmm. This is a 1.8% increase. Oh, there you go. So if you compare it to the 8% <laughs> cost of living that we're currently experiencing, yeah. We're holding the line. Yeah, we've been able to do some things to keep costs down. Good. Uh, the next one I wanted to share is United. The assessment is increasing by $29.17 per manor. And this is a 7.4% increase if we're comparing to the current year's assessment. But there are a few things that I should point out, most notably that there was no increase in 2022. Right. So. So it looks like even a 7.4% increase, that's over a four year period of time, which again, you're down to the one and 2% percent range per year. Yes. That's pretty so, good. And then flipping to our next one is third. Again, there is no proposed increase. They had a large increase last year, so we did everything we could working with the boards mm -hmm. to minimize any increase this year. Yeah, and that third increase last year, just so uh, if you're a new viewer, a new member of Third Mutual was due to the high insurance costs. That's now. correct, property yeah. insurance Absolutely. drove that. Yeah. So uh, we're happy to share that good news with our third residents this year. Um, and then just wanted to go over how we've come up with the 2023 business plan. Mm -hmm. We form it around our strategic goals, and those are listed on the screen, but those are to ensure financial stability and longevity, improve customer service to meet residents' needs, attract and develop high-quality staff, which we're really struggling with right now, implement technological advances and upgrade infrastructure. Right. So those all factored into our, our budget that we 
prepared yeah. this year. I like how you put high quality staff because you know it, it's difficult no matter where you are. I mean, right. if you're Apple or you're Tesla, they're still looking for employees as well. It's just the struggle that we're seeing nationwide, and and we're having that effect here as well. Exactly. Yeah. Thank you. And then I just uh, wanted to announce the meetings this week just to make sure everybody has those uh, times and dates. GRF will be reviewing their budget tomorrow, Wednesday, July 13th at 9.30 a.m. That will be held in the board meeting as will all meetings. And they're also available on Zoom and Granicus for viewing. The third board will meet Friday, July 15th at 9.30 a.m. And the United Board also Friday, July 15th at 1.30 p.m. Mm -hmm. So that's the next opportunity for our residents to right. weigh in on the budget. And then that shaded uh, August period is when we'll be televising them live here on Village Television. Yes. Okay. Thank you. And then I wanted to share just a couple other quick announcements if you don't mind. Absolutely. First of all, I'm pleased to announce that our Manor Alterations Division has launched a new real-time tracking system for mutual consents. Mm -hmm. So anyone who's going through the Manor Alterations process now can go onto the Village website and see the real-time status of their permits. Mm -hmm. And this can also be done by their contractors. So we're really uh, excited about sharing this real-time information. Yeah, that's important stuff right there. So to view that, you go to the Manor Alterations Division landing page on our website, and that's lagunawoodsvillage.com, Residence, Manor Alterations, and then you click on the mutual consent application status mm -hmm. to view this new tool, which is really slick. Yeah, that's great. Well, that's a, a great advantage for our residents uh, that are doing uh, any kind of upgrades to their manners. Right, and it also helps staff using technology. It speeds up the process, which benefits staff as well as our residents. Absolutely. So. And then lastly, our 2023 annual reservation lottery is underway. So if you need to reserve 2023 dates at a village facility, mm -hmm. now is your time. You can pick up lottery cards in the recreation office or email reservation requests to recreation at vmsinc.org. Mm -hmm. And these must be submitted by this Friday, which is July 15th at 5 p.m. Wow. And that's, uh, I believe, that process in recreation where, let's say, a club wants to meet at a certain time in a certain clubhouse and they're hoping to get it on that particular day and this is how that all gets established, correct? Exactly, Paul. Okay, great. So well, there's some terrific things happening in our community. Obviously, we have budget season right now. We do encourage you to participate and hear your voice now, especially now we're getting version three and then the finalization in the next couple of months. So uh, this is the time when, you know, it's really critical that our members are, uh, you know, participating and even uh, more so for our directors. So that budget will be put to put the rest here in the next couple of months. So we'll see how how that goes. But I think it's hap happening pretty well right now. It seems like the directors are on the same path as staff and we're trying to keep costs down as much as possible. Absolutely. Yeah. That's the goal. Absolutely. Well, thanks so much for joining us today. I know you have to get off to the United Board. So thanks for uh, stopping by and saying hello. My pleasure. Thank you, Paul. Absolutely. That's uh, Siobhan Foster. She's our chief executive officer for Village management services and she comes with us on Tuesdays when she has time and she's not in meetings involved with, of course budget and other items that happen in our community. We're going to be back with more of our program right after this. Welcome to OCI Care with Dr. Vias, Laguna Woods' most trusted premium laser eye surgery and comprehensive ophthalmology center. Located in the heart of the Laguna Woods community, OCI Care specializes in laser cataract surgery, glasses-free cataract surgery, microscopic glaucoma surgery, diabetic eye checks, routine exams, and all your other eye care needs. Dr. Vias and the OCI Care staff believe in one-on-one -on -one care and the patient-physician relationship. Come in for your appointment today for a lifetime of better vision. Number one reported accident for a senior is a fall. Hi there, I'm Bob Eubanks. If you've taken a bad fall or your balance isn't what it used to be, it's time to try 60 Up. It's safe, it's effective balance training that can get you back on your feet in as little as three weeks, like it did me. If you have balance, strength, or mobility issues, you need 60 Up. But within a couple weeks, my balance is improved. If you're feeling scared, you need 60 Up. It works. Go to 60up.com. That's the number 60up.com. It changed my life, and it can change yours, too.
Captain America. <laughs> Watch HGTV. Netflix. Hi, I'm Vince Ferragamo. I spent some of my best years as an NFL quarterback. But today, I've got a new team, and we're helping seniors who spent their best years fighting for our country, defending our freedom, and informing the nation. Our hometown heroes need help. AgeWell Senior Services is their lifeline. Nonprofit AgeWell can do all of this because you care enough to give. Please join me in supporting AgeWell. Donate today. When a loved one requires ongoing assistance and attention, home-related care and caregiving become viable alternatives to an existence dependent upon hospitalization. Your Home Care provides thoughtful general care and assistance with the basic necessities of daily living, all within familiar surroundings. Hello, I'm Kyle Warner, and I would love to talk to you about how we can help with your home care needs. Call me today. Well, joining us now are the co-owners of Your Home Care, Sagal Ronan and Kyle Warner. Thanks for joining us on the program today. Now, you yeah. all have been a part of this for almost 20 years now, and let's start with you. You actually, your father actually started this business back in 2003. So yes, uh, Your Home Care was, was created in 2003. It's been a family-owned and operated company. Uh, my father was involved for, for quite a while, as well as my sister. Oh, wow. Yeah. And so, um, and, and now I'm uh, running the company with Segal. Segal, so how did you become a partner in this uh, wonderful company? Well, when Allie uh, left the company to pursue other things, uh -huh. they brought me on board to help run the company. Mm -hmm. And I've been doing it ever since, since Great. 2016. It becomes a passion, right? It really does. Yeah. We, we really love serving the people of the right. community. Let's talk about the, the business as well. Um, it has many different services and uh, services for the community and for people at home. Tell us about the benefits that your home care provides to them. Yeah, so we can help them with anything they need, whether it's sometimes it's just doctor's appointments and they need us to run errands, maybe grocery shop. Um, our other clients maybe need some help at home with mm -hmm. cleaning, pet care, their own care, and some need 24-hour care. So wow. we actually move in, we live with them, we take care of them, we feed them. Um, oh. take them to go see their family and just make sure they're doing well. So you provide transportation for non-medical issues then? Right. Everything oh. we do is non-medical uh -huh. so we can you know we can do everything from take them to the beach or the library or go see their family or right. we can take them to the doctor right take them shopping. And that's part of this business too is not just the the medical and the important aspects of that but it's the socialization part of it too and the safety of having someone there, especially if you're needing transportation somewhere. Yeah, absolutely. So when we go in and, and work with a new, uh, new resident, a new family, uh, we put together a customized plan of care. And, and that plan of care is really um, based on the individual's needs. Mm -hmm. So some of our clients love to go on outings. They love to go to the beach, like Sagal mentioned, or, or they love to go shopping. Um, so that's part of the care plan. Other people need help with um, those activities of daily living at home, um, those personal care items like bathing and, and dressing and, and um, um, medication reminders, mm -hmm. um, mobility assistance, all of those things. So that all goes into this care plan that we put together and, um, and, and that really uh, guarantees it that, that the client, that the resident is, is going to have um, 
you know, the services that they need. Right. And the landscape of home care has changed so much. I mean, you've been in business nearly 20 years now. I'm sure you've seen those changes. But well into 20 to 30 years, I would say 30 years ago, it was basically the burden of the family, right? Whoever yeah. was the oldest child or whoever happened to be available was taking care of mom or dad. Right. And uh, that, when we, we become a two-income household, it, you can't even do that anymore. So that's why home care has become so important. So what in the landscape have you seen other than that, that now, you know, this is really um, something that is important to the entire family? Mm -hmm. You bet. Well, the, the landscape of, of home care and, and home health services is changing and, and is growing. Um, staffing is, is a concern for hospitals, for skilled nursing facilities, for assisted living facilities. Across the board, there's been staffing challenges. And, and that has um, trickled down to home care as well. So what we're seeing is agencies that are um, they're, they're having challenges mm -hmm. staffing um, for, for uh, their, their, their clients. Mm -hmm. um, we're in a position right now, um, your home care is in a unique position to be, um, have healthy uh, staffing levels. And we, we focus on Laguna Woods specifically. So a majority of our, our clients obviously, and, and our caregivers as well, live in the area. Mm -hmm. So we haven't felt that, that pull really um, our, our staffing levels are healthy. We're able to be more accommodating and more flexible. Um, for example, um, one of the things that, that home care agencies are now requiring, kind of across the board, is these longer minimum hour uh, requirements. Mm -hmm. they, they, won't, um, they won't really be of help to a, to a resident unless they commit to a, a six hour or even an eight hour shift. Well, a lot of times the residents really don't need that or right. want that. Mm -hmm. So um, again, we're um, able to accommodate for those shorter shifts, which has been really, um, really helpful right. for, the, for, the, for our company and also for um, the residents. Yeah. We'll do a shorter shift. We'll do a four-hour shift where, where other agencies, they, they're just not doing that, those, those, uh, those hours. Right. So mm -hmm. um, yeah. Great. Well, so Gal, you, uh, you're going to want to talk about a little bit why, why this, uh, your company stands out. And that's one aspect of it, because during that transition period of, yeah, I need a little help, then becomes, I really need a lot of help. Yeah. So I think what makes us stand out is how much we care mm -hmm. about the families that we get to be a part of, their daily lives. Mm -hmm. We have the most incredible, compassionate, and kind caregivers that go into these homes. They become like family. Right. And that is so important when you're providing care because we want to bond with the people that we provide care for. Right. And so it really does make us stand out because we love them so much mm -hmm. and we love being a part of their lives and we love being able to support the other family members that feel maybe torn because they can't be there all the time and they want to know that mom's doing okay or dad's doing okay that they're taking medication on time right. and so it's it just warms their heart when they get to see the caregiver sending a picture of them you know getting them out of the house with the walker and yeah. getting and, them outside and that's what's so important is that communication side of it like yes. you just said even just sending a picture you know a lot of the, uh, the kids live in the midwest or in texas or wherever right and just to let them know i, I know i would have a peace of mind if i saw my mom right. actually you know maybe having lunch somewhere in the patio right. and she's actually going out when she can physically and of course mentally it helps them so much and, absolutely and uh you know to know that you've done the screening where you found the people to be professionals and they're gonna you know you're bringing this person into their home right so you know it's so important that you all are you know top-notch as far as in the what you do for a profession and the respect you have in your industry so uh, it's nice that you actually complete that process for them yeah absolutely we Super. love doing it yeah. well how do people get hold of you now uh, you can call me mm -hmm. uh, my <laughs> name is Kyle Warner you can call me at 949-424-9322 okay and what I will do, I will come to the resident's home and I will do a, a complimentary assessment. And that's an opportunity for us to put together that, that, that plan of care. Mm -hmm. and, um, and then I call Segal and um, she does the scheduling and she um, works with the caregivers and we place the caregiver that's the very best fit for that resident. And um, 
off we go. Sounds good. Well, if you're uh, looking for home care, it sounds like we have the right people to help you out. <clears throat> it's called Your Home Care. And you're located, you're, you're local, so, you know, all this process can happen very quickly. And as you said, <clears throat> you've been in Laguna Woods for quite some time now, yep. so mm -hmm. you uh, you know your way around, because it is difficult to find a cul-de-sac around here every <laughs> once in a while. Yeah. Know my way around. Yeah. 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 Well, thanks so much for joining us on the program today. It's wonderful to meet both of you. Thank and you very much. Best of luck with your business. Lovely to meet Appreciate you. It. Thank you for having you us on. No problem. Thank That's you. Your Home Care. Go to their website, yourhomecare.com, or give Kyle a call. He'll be glad to help you out in any way he can. We'll be back with more of our program right after this. When a loved one requires ongoing assistance and attention, Home-related care and caregiving become viable alternatives to an existence dependent upon hospitalization. Your Home Care provides thoughtful general care and assistance with the basic necessities of daily living, all within familiar surroundings. Hello, I'm Kyle Warner, and I would love to talk to you about how we can help with your home care needs. Call me today. Welcome to Pacific Financial Planners. We focus on income replacement for your retirement. We have over three decades of professional money management experience. We personalize a plan that's right for you and your family. You only get one shot at retirement. Don't you think you better get it right? So give us a call for your free consultation. We can do this over the phone, via Zoom, or in person. Pacific Cremation Services offers you the ultimate freedom to become one with the salty breezes and brilliant sunset reflections. A scattering at sea is a unique, beautiful way to honor the life of anyone who chooses to be cremated. We help you plan the details and understand what to expect. Choose from our three simple plans and let us help you start the process of healing and life celebration. Contact us at PacificCremationServices.com to create a personalized service at sea today. Well, before we let you go, we don't want to get outside and see what that weather's like. It's probably still, yep, still a little hazy here if you're watching our live program in the morning. It uh, should be clearing up a little bit later in the day. Temperatures are going to be into the high 70s, and then overnights are going to be in the 60s. And then, as I mentioned earlier, you're going to see some warm temperatures that will be approaching us as we hit the weekend, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. You're going to see temperatures well into the high 80s. So uh, be sure and stay hydrated. Wear sunblock when you're out there and about and enjoy many of the amenities you have in our community. Well, if you're uh, with United Mutual, be sure and stay tuned. If you're watching our morning program, we are gonna go live from the boardroom right here from Village Television and from all of us here at Village Television. Thanks for watching. I'm Paul Ortiz and we'll see you again tomorrow. <laughs>